There's some easy ones. They're a little slow, but it's good. Fancy the last one. A couple of fouls out there. If you got. Do you look at the game in general? You know, it was a good start first half. Then it, as Mike said, you know, they really had a lot of juice in the second half. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of been an issue for us you know, all season. We always, every time we get a big lead, we always kind of sort of let go. We got to correct that, especially now. We got to have a better attitude about it. You know, like, I mean, give them credit too, you know, they didn't quit. Um, they made plays, but that's expected. You know, we stayed at the game. Um, seems like we keep fighting. Um, you know, we came back and made plays, enough plays to win the game, but um, we got we to gotta, you know, keep our foot on the gas like, the whole game. You know, they sometimes um, let that back up, you know, letting the lead slip away. So uh, hopefully, this, you know, it's the last time we have this and uh, we can erase that. And, Going forward, we uh, keep our gas. Is, I mean, is that just is that just mindset? Yeah, it is. It really is. I think that, especially tonight, the way we were playing, especially defensively. I think we look at how we play in the third quarter. Um, we get a lot of easy stuff in the transition basket, miscommunication. We just were, were not as tight as early in the first mm -hmm. half. You know, in the first half we were really tight. Everybody was on the same page. Our rotations were on point. Um, the second half was kind of just. Relax a little bit, and they were able to like get some easy baskets, some silly fouls. And, but um, we can correct that, and we need to correct that moving forward. And I think, like I said, hopefully this is the last time it happens. Luke, what about James and CP3 when they're locked in the way they were, especially in that first half? How dynamic this offense is when both of them are doing that. Yeah, obviously, uh, uh, those guys are top guards. You know, they're the best at what they do. So uh, we need them at that level, um, all series and the rest of the way. So. Uh, when they play like that, it's, it's big for us. But offensively, I know they're going to be good. You know, for me, it's defensive. Uh, when, when James and CP are locked up defensively, I, you know, I, just, I always trust PJ, Trev, and, uh, and Clint. So those two, when they're locked up, I would click them. We're pretty good. And it just stops our offense. It's just, you know, flows most of the time. So um, they did a really good job tonight coming in with the mindset of attacking from the goal and not being hesitant. Just going downhill, especially James, just going downhill and taking the shots, putting pressure on the defense and the zoom pass. What kind of relief really was it for you to knock down your first shot and hit a three to sort of start things off? To, to let you relax and just sort of play your own That yeah, was good, um, especially with that small lineup. Um, you know, they put a big on me, they put a small grind. So, uh, you know, just exploring the defense, uh, I was kind of upset I missed my, my next shot. So, uh, it's always good to make a first shot. Um, Obviously, that's the shot that I know is going to be there uh, because of the matchups and how they play us. So I'm uh, just ready to step into it and knock it down. So uh, it's good. Uh, and the yeah, offensive is going to come. Obviously, it's going to take me a little bit of time because of the, you know, you're not in rhythm. You know, you're just not in rhythm. And defensively, for me, that was the main thing. You know, making sure my legs and, you know, closing out, moving, staying in front of that, especially my like, has been playing really well. That was, that was my main concern, you know, contesting, you know, putting my hand up and all that stuff. So offensive is going to come. About three possessions later, you set a hard screen on Favors, led with your right shoulder. Did, was that the kind of hit you were talking about before that you needed to, to get? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I had another one too at the end of the end of the game. That was pretty good. I fouled Gobert. I uh, felt that one. But yeah, that was definitely one of those. Um, and like, like I told Coach yesterday, I mean, when I play, I play. You know, I'm not going to think of all oh, you know this baby or whatnot. I play, I play. Um, it's my first time going through this, so obviously I know what to expect, but I'm just out there, you know, uh, playing hard. I know we have, and I know I've done everything I need to do to be good, so that's why I play. You lived to what you said before the game, no dunks. No, no dunks, yeah. Uh, uh, for now, you know, just no dunks. Uh, so I'm sure the training staff is going to be happy about it. Uh, you never know. I mean, you know, after a week or two, it might, I might feel too good about myself and, and done. But for now, you know, I was talking to Chris, he was talking about working on floors, which I don't usually do, so it's either lay off or nuts, but we'll see. No but nuts. Obviously, before the, season, before the season, did you ever wonder how the, uh, the James and Chris pairing would work? And is this kind of how you envisioned it, or, or is it different in any ways? Uh, not at all. I mean, so, uh, you know, preseason, we got together in the summer and we started uh, working out and playing, and from then on, you know, we could tell it was a good connection between those guys, and you could tell that we were together. Um, and obviously, the numbers and our team wins and all that stuff speak for themselves, and they've been really, really good. Um, you know, I think, uh, like I said earlier, when those guys are playing at a high level, like they have been, we'll see them really good. So, 
Uh, I'm not surprised. Like I said earlier, you know, from the start of the season, even like I said, summer, I could tell it was already going to be a good connection.